Well, welcome back. Any woman who has gone through pregnancy knows that getting your pre-mommy figure back is not an easy task. My next guest is helping to change that. Joining me via Skype is the founder of Bikini Body Mommy, Brianna Christine. Well, welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. How's it going? It's going amazing. This is fantastic. You gotta love technology. It allows you to be in two places at once, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I love Skype. <laughs> it yeah. resolves a lot of problems. So, so tell me a little bit about Bikini Mommy. Big P Bikini Mommy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. So um, I, prior to, to founding Bikini Body Mommy, was a certified personal trainer in Southern California mm -hmm. and uh, got pregnant with my third child and um, ended up gaining 80 pounds over the course of my pregnancy and wow. knew that post, you know, post having the baby that I would have a pretty substantial transformation to undergo myself. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I was going to document that transformation every week by taking a weekly photo and ultimately with the end goal of writing a book to help women figure out how to regain their self-esteem and kind of embrace the um, the post post um, partum figure that they're that they're kind of dealt with afterwards and um, so I ended up losing 100 pounds in wow. 11 and a half months mm -hmm. and founded Bikini Body Mommy. That was uh, the, the title of my book was the Bikini Body Mommy Blueprint. Right. So I founded this community. I started putting out the workouts uh, behind my transformation for free and mm -hmm. ended up amassing this following quite literally of millions of people around the world. Right. So that must have been your catalyst for, for doing this, right? Well, my catalyst for doing this was to prove that just because you have children doesn't mean that your body is basically gone to waste um, and that, you know, anything is possible if you decide to put your mind to it. Right. So how did you do it then? <laughs> That's what we want to know. <laughs> so I focused on three pillars. The three biggest pillars, first of all, is mindset because you can't go into anything without having really clearly defined goals mm -hmm. and, and, and being able to have a very strong identified why. So why do you want this for yourself? Is it right. just because you want to fit back into your clothes or is it because you want uh, to um, maybe uh, you know, feel better in your own skin or mm -hmm. enhance your relationship again with your husband. Right. Um, so identifying your why and, and addressing that mindset because everybody has, you know, amazing determination in the beginning right. for a couple of weeks when they start a new program, but they need something that's lasting and sustaining. So that was first and foremost. Then the second pillar is nutrition right. because nutrition is key to right. transformation. <laughs> right. You can't, you know this, right? Uh -huh, you can't absolutely. out a bad diet. <laughs> So, um, so I focused, uh, first of all, on the quality of your food, making sure that you're not eating processed ingredients, whole foods, then focusing on meal timing, making sure that you're boosting your metabolism by eating every two and a half to three hours, mm -hmm. and always focusing your meal around a protein. So right. even if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can still accomplish this goal, just not with eating animal protein. That's right. And then the last <laughs> element was exercise oh, yes. and um, putting together an exercise format or program that um, was challenging and had a goal with each workout. I think a lot of times when people go to the gym, they don't necessarily have a goal. They just go and step on the treadmill for you know 20 to 30 minutes and say, oh, I worked out today. But really pushing yourself and mentally you know, having a goal that you're going to beat maybe right. how many reps you did before, you're right, going to increase right. your weight, and so on. So okay. having well, a goal. Well, actually, Brianna, I, I just want to thank you again for being on the show. And one more thing. Tell us where exactly people can get more information on Bikini Body Mom. They can go to my website, bikinibodymommy.com. I have a completely free community profile that you can join mm -hmm. and um, access all of the free workouts. They're also on YouTube, forward right. slash Bikini Body Mommy. Um, and yeah, you can get involved a number of different ways. All right, beautiful. Well, thank you for being with us again. I really appreciate you coming on the show. No problem. Thank you. Well, don't go anywhere, and I hope you're hungry because we're serving up a special treat, a delicious family of recipes with the dish it girl herself, Dina Delisa Gansar. When Healthy Lifestyle with Geraldo returns. And we're back. If you're a Jonas Brothers fan, you might recognize our next guest. She starred alongside her famous brother-in-law, Kevin Jonas, and her sister, Danny, in the e-reality show, Married to Jonas. 
Her culinary talents and delicious recipes are helping her make a name for herself. Please welcome the Dish It Girl, Dina Delisa Gonzar. Welcome. Hey. Thank you Hi, so Dina. much. Thanks for being here. So exciting to be here. Thank oh, you for having yeah. me. It's our honor. This pleasure. This looks Please. delicious. <laughs> I know, right? It's great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what do we have here? Okay, so what we're going to do today mm -hmm. is we're going to talk about chicken. Exciting. Chicken. <laughs> Classic. Chicken. We love it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a family friendly mm -hmm. weeknight meal. So we right. have three different preparations. Okay. The first preparation we have here is mm -hmm. a marinated chicken that's marinated in lime, red wine, some salt, and pepper. Okay. Very, simple. Very simple. You want to marinate that for, give it at least an hour, but if you're lucky enough to have overnight, mm -hmm. go for it. Before and it. you're going to grill that till you get some good grill marks like we see here. Mm -hmm. The second chicken is a balsamic marinated Ooh, chicken. I and love I know, oh my goodness. It's got <laughs> so a special bright. place yeah. in my heart. Yeah, I know, I love it. Put it on everything. And glaze on top. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, okay. With this marinade, what you're going to use is mm -hmm. you're going to mince up some garlic, mm -hmm. add some soy sauce, garlic, yes. some honey, yes, <laughs> and some balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. That again, you're going to just put it in a Ziploc bag, let right. it marinate overnight if you have time, but mm -hmm. if not, give that one more like two hours okay. and you're going to grill that up. And then next we have, which is just a simple chicken cutlet that's standard mm -hmm. in all Italian households. Of course. And that's, yes, uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. and you can eat <laughs> standard in non-Italian households too. Yes. Oh, very <laughs> nice. I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> so with this one, you're just going to get some eggs. You're going to kind of whip those up mm -hmm. okay. and you're going to use Italian style breadcrumbs. I like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there just for yes. something a little bit Absolutely. extra. Yeah, no, no, that's Yes, good. you can't go wrong with cheese no. ever. Parmesan. And so you're going to dip it in the egg mm -hmm. and then you're going to dip it in the breadcrumbs and cool. then you can either fry it in a frying pan some olive oil or you can bake it okay everybody has a preference beautiful and so to go along with this chicken we have some toppings that you can use just to change it up mm -hmm. once in a while so the first one we're going to start with is an avocado lime. avocado yeah i know yes. everybody's in love with <laughs> avocado love food, food. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. and then i have some kalamata olives mm. here and some queso fresco which All is right. kind of uh. like a saltier mexican cheese which we really love and some cilantro so okay good you would like to take the task Absolutely. of cutting I'm up ready to avocado. Dig into this avocado can yes. you handle it no Absolutely. pressure i'm gonna try yeah. Yeah. The pressure's on. oh wow you're lucky i didn't make you take out the pit you know <laughs> that's, that's the no, tricky part no, no pits yeah. for me. all right beautiful awesome so how did you get started in doing this? Well, I actually started my cooking blog when I was in grad school. And it was just a journal for me to be able to pass on to friends when they ask me, oh, where, how did you make that? Or family, how did you make that? I say, oh, just go up on the website that I have. You're going to add some Beautiful. cilantro in, Absolutely. go for it. And I'm going to add in some of the cheese. So that's how it started. And then people kind of just started logging on and it's just started Waiting growing for more the next and more. Recipe. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Beautiful. And we're gonna add the Kalamata olives in. Would you All like right. to dump those Yeah, in yeah, let's here? do that. Right. Absolutely. Awesome. So tell me, Dina, what, what inspired you to do this? Well, I think food has always been a major part of our life mm -hmm. in our household. Absolutely. I mean, being an Italian family, Sunday dinner is a major, major event that right. we have. And um, <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> and dinners at five thirty every night. So between my mom mm -hmm. cooking all the time, and then my dad having a serious obsession, which you might have seen right. on yeah. the show, <laughs> he had a serious obsession with food. Mm -hmm. um, so and I was always the one doing those ride-alongs with him to different right. restaurants mm -hmm. or whatever new bakery he found. So Absolutely. always on my mind. And here we are. Here we are. So, so. the next one we have mm -hmm. is um, a bruschetta topping for oh, our balsamic chicken. Oh, cool. And in here we have some halved cherry tomatoes. It's mm -hmm. nice when you get the yellow and the red ones. It's mm -hmm. pretty. And you can add in there a little bit of red onion. Yes. Okay. Give it a Do little Do you kick. have a, a favorite food to cook? That is always one of the hardest questions for <laughs> me. I like so many things. But okay. um, then I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese here. Okay. All right. I'm going to go in. Great. Um, I would say macaroni and meatballs, though. Gotta love macaroni. Gotta love. <laughs> that sounds like Tinder. something my kids would eat. Now we're <laughs> talking. Absolutely. Right? Okay, and this is what goes on top of the balsamic chicken that we have over there. Beautiful. And you can also bake the balsamic chicken with this topping on if you mm -hmm. want to see the cherry tomatoes kind of burst open and melt into that chicken a little bit. And oh. last but not least, simple, yes. simple, Shake. chicken sim milanese. Shake. Give me that little shake and we'll get into it. Put a little dressing it. on that one. <laughs> and this is just okay. a vinaigrette that we have, a balsamic vinaigrette. Just, just, just pour it on. Just pour it on. Have fun with it. Awesome. Yeah. Very nice. All right. That looks delicious. <laughs> and looks that has really um, some Dijon mustard, uh -huh. some honey, 
and salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder, balsamic, shake that up, keep that in your refrigerator okay. for whenever you need to use it. Well, Dina, it works. thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming sure, over. Sure, great. You know, thank you for yeah. just, having um, me. I want to make sure that you tell our viewers where they can get more information on, on your website sure. or anything else. You can visit my blog. It's mm -hmm. dishitgirl.com. Mm -hmm. And that you can find all of our recipes, mm -hmm. um, all of my blog information. If you need to contact me or if you want to send me a recipe, Absolutely. all that's right there for you. Right, get beautiful. this recipe on that blog? Is that you up there? You certainly can. Excellent. All three okay. of these are there. Good. Well, thanks again to all of my guests. And a special thank you to my co-host, Sonia Satra, <laughs> for being here. And thanks to all of you at home for watching. And make sure you tune in next time for another great show. And remember, take care of your body today, and it will take care of you tomorrow. See you next time.